Today was going to be one of those magical days. There was something in the air, something glorious was going to happen today. Little did I know it, but I was going to find 400 year old epic silver coin. This is why we love this hobby, for these rare magical moments. I really hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Hello, greetings, good morning, welcome to another metal detecting expedition. Today I'm joined by my good friend Carl, Mr. Noble MDT Spade himself. Uh, today we're on the big green hillside and we're going to see what we can find. Are you keen? Let's do it. He's keen, so yeah. Uh, he's got his mine lab equinox i've got the xp days too so yeah let's uh, let's get on with it and see what we can find today today i'm using program three sensitive ft no changes i've had a couple of bits of lead already but this is my first good one it's a banging 83 it's a little bit too good but it could be a coin a shallow coin today's conditions are perfect it's cold the ground's damp it's not raining it's not windy beautiful Right there, look. I mean, you can just tell by the grey soil. I think there's going to be a coin here. Oh, there we go. Looks like we've got a half penny. Let's have a closer look. And as you can see, who else would it be? It's King George V. The date on there is 1915, I believe. Very worn. But yeah, what a great start. Pre decimal coin, George V, half penny. Cool. This is the next target that I'm fond of. 85. I'd say that's a coin all day. Carl degrees. It really is great to be out on a day like today. It's Saturday, we're not at work. It's in there. You shouldn't really dig with your fingers. Oh man, it's a tiny little piece of scrap. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button up there. It really means the world to me. Have a look at some of the other videos. I've got some really cool content, some really great finds. Uh, to everybody else who's joining me today, thank you as always. And yeah, welcome. Let's see what we can get on this big, beautiful green hillside in this stunning winter weather. This is my next one, clear as day, 85. I am on a very, 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 very steep incline here. This is gonna be a little bit tricky, but this is where the coins are. This is where you've got to get to. Oh, I can see gray soil. Definitely a coin in there. Oh, there it is. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. That's a half penny again, look. Let's have a closer look at this. It's exactly the same as last time. It's a King George V British half penny. An early one. It'll be 19... 15, 19, 16, something like that. But yeah, two pre-decimal coins already. That's that's good, it's good, let's carry on. Find from earlier on, while I was doing a bit of B-roll from the sky, solid 53, it's a modern five pence piece. Tiny little coin. Sound like that. Cool, don't mind that. I've got a signal here, Carl's got a signal there. Mine is about 84. Sounds great, that. Crisp, clear, consistent, small. That has to be a coin, surely. What, yours? A bit of junk? Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh my lord. I thought this was a modern one pig, but I'm starting to doubt whether it is. Oh, it is a silver. Said it might be a silver coin. Bloody well is. Is it an icon? No, it's a 1920 sixpence. Yep. George V. Bloody Nora. Definitely needs a bathing lemon juice. Can't grumble at that. 1920 silver sixpence. Beauty. This interests me. 87 there, clear as day. And I think I've got one here as well. I reckon I might have a coin spill here, or I could have a big piece of turd. Well, let's investigate. Well, I've dug my first hole. That came flying out. That looks like a big penny. Got some imprint there, look. For the naysays. Let's see what else we've got, because there's definitely something else in there. We're going to have to dig again. There's definitely something else in there. In fact, I can feel it there. Look, it's another big penny. I wonder if we've got any more. No. This one looks old. Could be Victoria. There's Britannia. I can see an 18, look, 1890 something. That's in really nice condition. There she is, look, Queen Victoria. Beautiful. And the other one is George V. So we've got George V and Queen Victoria. I like that, love it. Love pre-decimal coins. This is brilliant, I had a signal <laughs> on the surface, it was a 70 odd, I thought it was going to be trash, I opened it up, look, it's a pigeon ring, I keep finding pigeon rings at the minute, it's my third one in as many months, GB S28983, that's cool, I keep finding pigeon rings, I am going to try and track down the owner of all my pigeon rings, because I've got quite a few at home, but that's cool. Really. Carl's wandered off, I have no idea where he is. I'm convinced, after finding those two pennies and then a pigeon ring, I think I've got a hammered coin here. I'm almost certain. And it looks really, 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 really nice. 82 is coming in at. This looks really nice. I can't find Carl, I'm gonna try and ring him. Here he comes, look, the plodder. Have a butchers at this. I'm gonna get you right in. Oh, look how crisp that looks. Oh my lord. Lordy lord. What are you saying, Carl? Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Oh, look at that. My lord. That feels great. We're going to give this a little clean up. Yeah, it's a bit worn, I think, but the lettering looks pretty decent, doesn't it? Let's give this a clean up and we'll come back. Well, we think that is Irish. It's got a big harp on it. But look at it. It's absolutely brilliant. Never found an Irish hammered before. You flip her over. I ain't got a clue what's on this side. Is it James the First? Is it a Mary? I really don't know. But yeah, that's the third hammer I've had off this permission in almost two years. And I've shared the moment with my mate, Carl. Well, we're giving this area a good old scan in now. I've got a right screamer here. 89.90. That's a big copper coin, maybe. Silver? Who knows? Let's have a look. Super confident that this is a coin. That hammer is only my second in two years. I had one last year in 2022, and I've had one this year. I am buzzing.
Do I see anything? I do. And would you believe it? It's a modern one pence. And I've hit it with my spade. What are the chances, eh? Modern 1p, you get hammered, you get pre-decimal coins, you get a pigeon ring, and then you get a 1p all in the same patch. That's why we love this hobby. over there in the distance, I'm going to sit down and a drink. Got a signal here, we have changed fields by the way. 86, 87. I quite like that. It's a coin! Is it Christy Georgian? Is it pre decimal? I think it's a pre decimal big penny, isn't it? Well, I've got it out looking, it's Queen Victoria. So that's a 1800 coin, but it's not in very good condition at all. But yeah, you're looking at 150 years old Queen Victoria, British pre decimal penny. I like that, it's cool. Well, this is one that I should have recorded because 94 out of the hole. In the hole, it was giving me a 91, 92, didn't record it. It was the full length of my pinpointer deep. And I think it's a cartwheel penny. Well, I don't think it, I know it. There is no denying that that is a cartwheel penny from its huge rim. There's your imprint. It's not in too bad condition for one of these. Let's have a closer look at this. As you can see, there he is, look, Mr. King George III. That is a huge coin. One ounce of copper. The date will be 1797. Brilliant. Absolutely flipping brilliant. This is a signal I can get right behind. Listen to that. Squealer. High pitched. High numbers. It's pretty deep. It's got to be six inches plus. Copper coin, maybe. Silver, if I'm lucky. It's got to be a coin. I'm sure of it. Positive. Nice big plug. It's there. And of all the things it could be at that depth, it's a modern one pence piece. That's why this is real metal detecting, real finds. You've got to dig the bloody modern, you've got to dig the rubbish, you've got to dig the iron, you've got to dig the lead. But eventually you find the little silver hammered coins. That's why this is the best hobby in the world. In this pile of spoil, there is something, probably a button, not 100% sure. Can't even remember where it is. There it is, look. That's a button. But has it got a pattern on it? Possibly. No. It's just a button. I've just had this out of the ground. I have absolutely no idea what it is, but it's got that really old look to it. The smooth green patina. I don't know. I have no idea. Mystery item. If anyone might know what that is, please let me know in the comments. Me and Carl have changed fields, we've walked through the woodland onto the other footpath field. The grass is perfect, conditions are perfect, so we'll see what we can find today. This is a heavily, heavily detected site that I've done to death, but you never know, there's still going to be stuff here. Well, this was an absolute battle getting out. I had a lovely little signal in amongst some iron, and look, I've been rewarded with a big pre decimal penny, I believe, but it was really hard to get to. 
Is it Victoria? Is it George? I'm not so sure. I'm going to give this a wee clean. Oh, I, I am sure. Look, it's George V. Let's get a closer look at this. And there he is in his full glory, King George V. Not a bad condition for a big, big old penny. 1915, look. 108 years old. How cool is that? I'm almost certain I've got a coin ball here. 86, 87. Big penny, surely. I can't see an edge though. But I see black soil. I know there's something in there. And by the colour, I think it's going to be copper. A copper coin. Oh, there we go, look. Oh, it's another George V. Big pre-decimal penny. Look at the imprint on that. You can't fake that, people. Pure imprint. That looks to be in nice condition as well. I'll never ever get bored of digging George V pre-decimal coins. That's probably my fourth or fifth of the day. Again, 1911, so that's a very, very early one. What monarch do you guys find the most of when you're out metal detecting? Let me know in the comments. Mine's 100% George V. I'll sit me and Carl are done. We're gonna head to the pub, get a, uh, a bit of pub grub and a couple of pints probably. Uh, I just want to mention that if you want to uh, purchase one of these Noble MDT stainless steel spades, then uh, get in touch with Carl. His details will be in the description of this video. But uh, yeah, it's been really good. We've been here over five hours and it seems to have gone in, uh, in the blink of an eye. And uh, But yeah, I found a hammered coin on here. Only my third ever on this permission. Um, which is brilliant. The usual pre decimals and I'll show Carl's finds shortly. Uh, he's had a couple of cool finds. Definitely nice little coin weight. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate it. Well, this is some of Carl's finds. He's got a few pre decimals there, a couple of old 10 P's, a button. He got all the usual lead bullet cases and whatnot. And he's also had this, which is quite possibly. One of the best finds of the day. We reckon that's a little coin weight. Six shillings and nine pence maybe. But look how small and diddy it is. I think that's brilliant. Proper display piece that is. Slightly jealous but I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> Here you go mate. Don't lose it. This was Carl's other find which I think is really cool. And I think that's off the top of a barrel. We think it says Warrington around there and I'm sure they're quite collectible but I think that's pretty cool well done mate right let's go to the pub okay, I'm keen for a pint so here are my finds for a really wonderful day's metal detecting the 1920 George V sixpence spent a night in lemon juice and as always with pasture finds it came up an absolute treat I believe the hammered silver coin to be an Irish James I sixpence though please correct me if I'm wrong I don't find many hammered silver coins so this really has made my year. There are people out there who've been sending me money via PayPal and I'm so, so grateful. Uh, it's been so useful to me. So if, if anyone else wants to support the channel, you can go to my homepage and click here, buy me a coffee. Any money that comes in this way will go straight back into the channel, whether it's for recording equipment, t-shirts, other stuff like that. I'm so, so grateful for, for everybody's support. So thank you and we'll see you on the next one.